What is up this year? L.A. in a minute. And do you know that the San Andreas fault line starts only 30 miles south of Palm Springs? That's right. It cuts through Riverside, San Bernardino, and Los Angeles counties. And it's plainly visible. At some points, it's more than a mile wide and actually becomes a tourist attraction. Let's get into it. So the San Andreas Fault is at least 10 miles deep and runs 800 miles to the northwest from the Salton Sea to Cape Mendocino on the northern California coast, entirely in California. The San Andreas Fault is actually the boundary formed by two giant tectonic plates, the North American Plate and the Pacific Plate. It was actually the clash of these two plates that caused the devastating 1906 earthquake in San Francisco. Though the San Andreas Fault has not had a significant earthquake capable of tearing the ground apart since 1906, it still remains one of the most watched and studied fault lines in the world. Along its 800 miles, at least at ground level, the seam from the fault line can be difficult to see. However, when viewed from above, you really get a feel for its visual impact. One of the best and easiest places to see the San Andreas Fault in person is in the Coachella Valley. While the seam here isn't as visually dramatic as in other places, you can see a trail of palm trees caused by water that had bubbled up from the earth through fissures in the fault. In fact, there's a nature preserve that you can visit that's right in the San Andreas Fault. It's become a popular tourist attraction. You can even walk through and explore the fault itself if you're up to it. And if you don't want to walk, this is one of the wider and flatter areas of the fault, so they do give Jeep tours to explore. So the San Andreas Fault hasn't been terribly active in more than a century, but it is a fact of life here in Southern California. Runs right through Riverside, San Bernardino, and Los Angeles. And if you want, you can go visit. All right, LA. All right, Desert. It's been a minute.